Hi guys, welcome to the second part of uh, portable aircon installation in the camper van. Uh, well, I'm going to start uh, actually fitting this unit in. So, cutting, screwing, measuring, drilling, everything will be involved. Right, first of all, because the extraction hole is going to go through this cupboard, I'm going to remove this door so to make myself an easy access. That area. And some little screws. And this is tiny. There you go. Keep them screws inside. Put the door aside as well. Right now. And mark up the big hole for extraction unit that's going to be from the center of this uh, common unit. We're going to have a position there. There's also guesstimating involved, and obviously, it's not something that is being designed exactly to be fitted in this space we are trying to utilize what we have so standard of market portable aircon unit and the camp van we want to fit it in right that's in there and a little hole down the bottom for condensed pipe that one can be also used for power cable. Now, the hole is going to be circular hole, but I still need to make an outline of the square adapter I can position the circle within within the square right I can use one of these ad adapters wall adapters that came with the Aircon unit. I can center that within the square. Cut it nice, mark it up nice and neat around it. There you go. Now, because I have nicely padded up holster here. You'll see that in a minute. I'm going to cut uh, with a utility knife the fabric first, the upholstery. I'll cut it slightly over the line because I believe if I run jigsaw through the fabric itself, it might rip the fabric. So Cut a hole Padding separating with the fabric with this sort of foam padding that I put on underneath to make it soft on touch so it's not hard when it goes uh, if you fit fabric directly to the plywood. 
Now instead of scraping off the hot, the plywood panel is only three eighths of an inch or nine point five millimeters. Depends how people prefer it. So that will be quite easy to cut with a jigsaw and a fine blade. I'm going to get the jigsaw now. Right, here's the jigsaw. I'm going to plunge the saw into the plywood. Double check there's nothing behind. It's all good. Let's go. Splintering. I pierce the point of the auger bit to the other side of the ply. Now I'm going to enter the ply from the other side and cut around the edge of the hole so it stops the ply from splintering. <laughs> bottom for condensed pipe and a cable and the hole here for extraction holes. Now if you watched my first video somewhere below the floor here is the main one of the main beams of the van and I'll have to extract the hose down in this area here. So the next step will be um, repositioning uh, my waste pipe from the sink that is above. You can see uh, the sink is connected, waste pipe is connected here. So I'll just have to disconnect that, pull it out down to uh, underside of the van and then redrill a new hole probably somewhere on this side here. Okay. Right, to remove this hose from the sink, I'll need to slacken off this 
exposed clip, jubilee clip, as some people would call it. Uh, pull the hose off. Take the clip off. Then I got end free that we can then feed down to on the side of the van. Now I do have some silicone run around the underside of the van between the floor and the hose so don't get any water rising up in the floor. So I'll have to pull that from underside upwards. Right, that's sorted. Now I should mark up position for my hose on the under, under side and commence drilling. Right, I have checked um, the van from underneath. Now the, I have two beams. One beam is in that zone there, and one beam is about six inches away here. Now our hose is six inches. But I don't think it will be very practical to drill and cut the floor exactly tight between two beams. So if I say the beam comes to about here, 16.